Well, it's official hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin started yesterday. And I tell you, folks in Miami probably wondered if the first storm of the season had hit by late yesterday afternoon. Street flooding due to torrential downpours as several thunderstorms rolled across that area. Now, the thunderstorms were tropical in nature, mind you, but not part of a tropical storm. As of yet, no named storms out there, not expecting the formation of any, but I guess this is kind of like a preparedness drill for those folks as they get ready for what could be a long storm season. Ahead. Meanwhile, back here at home, it's a pretty quiet start to our morning. Skies, well, not completely clear. We've got a scattered cloud or two out there. Temperature at 62 degrees, but look at that relative humidity down at 16%. Any moisture that's in the air this morning is elevated in the upper parts of the atmosphere. Down low, it's extremely, extremely dry out there, and that is going to continue to limit the rain chances around the state. Temperatures pretty mild, 50s, 60s most areas, little cooler than yesterday morning up in Santa Fe to the tune of about six degrees, but still not too bad when you take into account that there's no wind in Santa Fe this morning and only light breezes places like Albuquerque, Socorro and down towards Las Cruces with slightly stronger winds here in the northeast. There's a reason for that. There's a little backdoor cold front that has settled over the northeastern part of the state and behind that front later today, we will see a little additional low level moisture begin to gather. So if there's going to be one location in the state where we see showers and thunderstorms, I think it's going to be right up here, Union County, possibly down as far Far south is, say, Harding and Quay counties a little later on this afternoon. Really just depends on the heating and how much moisture is there. But for most of the state, the moisture's moved on out of the picture, and it is the dry air that we're going to focus in on the next few days. And that means temperatures are going to get very, very warm. By the time we roll into the weekend, it looks like near record heat could be in place across a big chunk of territory here in the land of enchantment. There's even the outside chance that we could see a 100 degree reading in the metro area this weekend. My official four forecast isn't quite that hot, but it sure gets close. Meanwhile, temperatures much like yesterday across the western part of the state, 80s north, 90s south. And look at that, Carlsbad could be the first location in the state to find 100 degrees. That could happen later this afternoon. Meanwhile, that backdoor cold front will produce slightly cooler temperatures, low to mid 80s across the northeast. Again, that's the part of the state where scattered storms are a possibility. Otherwise, partly cloudy and warm in the northern mountains, and it's going to be warm the next few days in Santa Fe before turning off hot over the weekend. And the entire state's going to bake this weekend. Meanwhile, look for highs in the upper 80s in the East Mountains today. Similar temperatures in the metro, although South Valley southward could be near 90 later this afternoon. And 90s rain supreme in that long range forecast, including temperature at 98 both Saturday and Sunday.